Hello, I'm gonna do a day in the life vlog here back in Boston for my last semester of classes. It's actually the night before I'm gonna start filming it, but I figured I look a little bit more presentable now than I will when I wake up in the morning. So I hope you enjoy. Good morning. I am eating breakfast now. This is classic overnight oats and I just stirred in some frozen berries. A large bag of frozen berries is one of the best investments I've ever made. I'm about to do some work for my complex clinical reasoning class while I'm eating my breakfast and then I'll get ready for the day. got my work done and I washed the dishes, packed my lunch and snacks for the day and now I'm gonna head out to the gym to do upper body strength work today. Uh, really taking it easy on my legs because fun fact, I am training for a half marathon which is coming up on October 13th. Who knew I'd be running this much? Not me. Um, and I ran 11 miles yesterday, and so my legs are toast. Also, I was kind of silly and did leg day two days before my long run, which I don't recommend. So my legs need a few days to rest. It's oddly very hot in my room and outside. It's gonna be like a high of 89 today, which is weird because now it's fall and the past couple of weeks have been really nice and crisp and cool and you like feel the fall in the air and now I'm sweating again and I haven't even stepped outside yet. But honestly, I can't complain. I actually have grown to really like the heat and just not being cold to the bones every time I step outside, because that'll be coming soon. I usually have a class at 10 o'clock on Mondays, but today we don't have that class, which was nice because I got to catch up on some work and now I get to go to the gym. All right, so I just had a good workout at the gym and now it's about 11, 15, 11, 20. I'm gonna head to the Catholic Center to meet Janice there and we're gonna do some work for our project. Our big third year PT school project is called our practicum. And for ours, we're doing, we're teaching and planning and developing an inclusion hip hop dance class for children with and without disabilities. And so that will be starting this Wednesday. We're really excited gonna get our grooves on our moves and grooves and uh, have fun with the kids and do a little bit of research and outcome measurements on the way so that's what we're doing it's a beautiful day out here's Janice displaying my lunch which is I'm displaying oh my voice is quite shot, but... Poor Janice is yeah. ill. But it's but okay. It is tomato egg tofu. I actually thought of you, Janice, when I made this. I think I saw your Insta post. And some garlic bok choy over brown rice. It looks amazing. You're amazing. I know. Alrighty, I'm headed to my first and only class of today. It's called Complex Clinical Reasoning, and it's a very research and discussion-based class. And so I'm headed to the hospital, actually, because that is where our instructor facilitator works. She's a PT at a hospital. So we go there because she works full-time and she takes an hour and a half out of her day to run this class for us twice a week. And there's a lot of construction going on, so it's very loud. Hi, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi. I just finished class not too long ago, but it's about like a 25, 30 minute walk from there back to campus. So I'm back on campus now and I'm going to head over to the Catholic Center and mass will be at 5 p.m. So I'll go to that, pray a little bit, and then I'm gonna head over back to the Health Sciences College to go to a gross anatomy meeting since I'm teaching gross anatomy again. There are a lot of people passing by and sometimes when I film vlogs like this, I hope that people think that I'm like FaceTiming with another person and not just talking to myself. Hello, hello. I almost forgot to keep filming this vlog. Um, so after what you just saw, John and I went to mass, hung out for a little bit, and then we went to the gross anatomy meeting that we have weekly to bi-weekly. Um, where we find out what we're teaching on the cadavers and everything. And then I stopped by the CC to grab my phone because I actually forgot it there. And now I am going to walk home. Should be about 25-ish minutes and then I'll have some dinner. But it is a very summery, balmy night I and mean, it's been it's been a lovely day. I'm very grateful for it. So I got home. I just finished dinner. I forgot to film it because uh, my roommate came in, but I had, it was really random. I had salad with tomatoes and spinach and uh, honey mustard vinaigrette that I made, which is just olive oil, mustard, and honey. That's it. And then that was like my savory thing. And then I had a Greek yogurt bowl because I just wanted, I had to, so many chips and spinach artichoke dip earlier. I had some with Janice and then I had some with John because I made a lot this weekend and I had a lot left over so I brought some and I had a lot today and it was very good. Um, the salad and then a Greek yogurt bowl with peanut butter, banana, and some cereal on top and honey. It was a hodgepodge but sometimes I really like it like that. Time to shower and do a little bit of work. Also, my roommate, who's from Japan, gave me these, which I'm very grateful for. It was very sweet of her. She gave it to me like when we first met. I think I want one. Green tea Kit Kat. I've had one before. It's basically like white chocolate matcha Kit Kat. It's pretty good. Just trying to do some light reading and multitasking. Okay, I am so sleepy. It is time to go to sleep. My roommate is showering and I need to pee, but I might fall asleep and pee in the middle of the night because I need to catch some Z's. I'm sorry this wasn't an incredibly exciting day in the life. I feel like it was mostly just my face. That's life right now. Hopefully I'll be coming with some more blog posts with substance, but ta-ta for now, as Tigger would say, bye.